Welcome back to Stand, where we help to make courage contagious. I'm your host, Kelly Chewbacca, former U.S. Senate candidate and current chair for the Trump campaign in Alaska. And I'm joined today by my amazing co-host and son, Josiah Chewbacca, who soon is heading off to college. I'm so glad that you're with me. We're so excited to be broadcasting today from the frontier of Alaska. You can be one of our standouts by joining us on our website, www.standshow.org. That's where you can find all of our amazing past episodes. And you can find all of our links to social media, our links to our YouTube channel, all of our stand shows, hit that subscribe button, become one of our famous standouts. We'd love to have you join us. And we're so excited to have you on our show today. We're going to be talking to Chris Rhodes, the CEO of Veebs. That's spelled V-E-E-B-S. Have you ever asked yourself, why the heck do I want to give money to people who hate what I stand for? That's what Veebs, the app is all about. It tells you where the businesses you're shopping for and shopping with align with your values. You don't want to be giving your money to people who don't believe what you believe. And these, this app tells you whether these businesses align with your political and social values. So it's it's just as easy as scanning the barcode, super simple. We're going to talk to the Veebs founder day about how Veebs can empower your financial freedom. So welcome, Chris. We're so excited to have you with us. Thank you for being with us today. Yeah, and thank you very much for having me. I uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be on here. I've listened to a bunch of your podcasts before, and I just think they're great, great stories by people. Um, love the the focus on action, uh, and so I'm really happy to be here today and and talking to your uh, your audience. We're excited to have you. And speaking of action, that's what we stand for: we stand for freedom, truth, government by the people. So I want everyone to know, Veebs is available on the App Store. Or on Google Play, you can download it. I've got it. You want to get it. It is a new app. So you are on the cutting edge of your listening today. You want to find out how to maximize your financial freedom and take a stand financially. Get Veebs on Google Play or the App Store, whatever is your app preference of choice, but you can get it there. So Chris, let's jump in. What inspired you all to create this app? Yeah. So, um, you know, first of all, like you say, Veebs is the app that enables people to buy based on their values during their regular shopping trips. Uh, and so it, it works really easily. Veeps customers pay 99 cents a month. Um, they pick a value score based on what their own values are or uh, a value pack based on the value, what their values are. Uh, then they go in the store, they scan the barcode and Veeps returns a V score uh, to them. And the V score, if it's high, that means the, the product aligns with the customer's values. If it's low, Veebs also offers an alternative so that the customer can find a product that more aligns with their values. We got about 4,000 companies in our database now and uh, about 300,000 products. So when you go in the store, you can be pretty sure that what you're scanning is going to show up. Uh, our alternatives are that uh, they match what you're actually looking for. So if you want French onion soup, you're going to get another French onion soup, not a tomato soup. Uh, So it makes it super easy to go into the store and find the companies and the products that match your values. Now, we came up with this idea uh, around 2021. Uh, There were a couple of things converging at that time. First of all, there was a a big study that came out that said that over 75% of U.S. customers want to buy products from companies that align with their values. So that's across the board, uh, bipartisan. People want to buy from companies that align with their values. At the same time that that was happening, we were seeing more and more companies that were taking hard stands on one side or or the other of what we kind of considered to be 50-50 political and social issues. Uh, But they were still expecting to sell 100% of, of the products that they had been selling. And so all of that didn't quite match up for us. Um, And some of the messaging was kind of a kind of strong armed, we thought, Um, you know, it went beyond just let's take care of the environment. It went beyond let's be inclusive. And it felt a little more like take your medicine. We know better than you. Um, So we started in 2021 building out our database. It's it's actually pretty complicated to pull all that data because it's in all different formats. It's, you know, deep in financial disclosure sometimes. Uh, And so it took us a couple of years to build out the database, Mm -hmm. to build out the the scoring for being so easy and and then to connect it to the the barcodes. But uh, we we opened, kind of soft launched in July uh, and are fully up and running now uh, trying to get people to, you know, buy based on their conscience. 
I just want to identify something you just said. I love that. I don't have time to go research what the French onion soup companies are investing in. <laughs> I just want to be honest. Exactly. Yep. But I think we all saw what happened with Budweiser, right? So when that hit the news, people voted with their dollars and it made a really big impact on the company and they had to make some big decisions about what they were going to do. I know one of the things that happens in our house is maybe my husband and I have some differences in how strongly we stand on some of these values or, or vote with our dollars. And so a company will make a decision and I get really upset about, like you said, a, they will make a decision on a 50, 50 kind of issue. And then they make a 100% stand and then expect me to kind of absorb their values. And so then I will take a 100% stand in response. And then he gets upset that we can no longer eat at that restaurant or he <laughs> gets upset that we no longer buy that product. And if he brings home ice cream from that company, it just goes in the trash. He goes upstairs and I just, I don't care that I just threw a $7 pint of ice cream out. And he's like, what did you do? And I said, do you know what they stand for? <laughs> and so there's conflict. So he just knows he can't bring home those products. And, but I'll tell you, I don't have time to sit there and research what, so I wonder how many other things, you know, like our son, one of our other sons, he's really into basketball shoes. And there are companies that I say, you are absolutely not allowed to buy shoes from those companies. And we have this debate and he says, but they're the best basketball shoe company. And I say, well, do you want to give money to people who wish that we did not only couldn't speak, but didn't exist on the face of the planet. Like we're literally supporting people who wish that we did not exist. And so I love that you're doing that research for us. So I'm wondering like, what's your long-term goal with Veebs? I, what I'm hearing you say is you're not in this app. You don't um, cater your app to people like me. It sounds like people kind of pick their own values and then the value, it's a neutral app. It just tells you this company does or doesn't align. So then what's your long-term goal with Thebes? Yeah. So, you know, first of all, I think um, to, to kind of address the the rabbit hole issue, that's what we call what you're talking about, where how do you learn about companies? You got to go right now, you got to go down the rabbit hole or you have to wait for the news cycle to catch up. Um, right. You, so you hope see, mainstream media reports it. That's exactly right. So you see maybe a handful a year um, or you're spending your days down, you know, internet rabbit holes, learning about the companies that you're, you're thinking about buying from. We replace all that. We make it easy for you to just know um, what, you know, where these companies stand um, so that you can, at the point of sale, decide what you want to buy. And that way you also avoid throwing ice cream out, right? Like you, you decide in the grocery store, um, not once you get home and, and you know, realize that, uh, th that it wasn't what you wanted to get in the first place. I think the other thing that we do is we stay on top of things like who actually owns the company. There's a lot of movement between brands, you know, and, and who owns them. And so we have to stay on top of that. It's not always clear at any particular time who owns the company and, and what they stand for. And then the other thing that we really try to stay on top of is how they're influencing. So some of the examples you gave are almost exclusively about marketing. So it's the company decided to say to the world, here's what we stand for. Um, here, here's what you know our marketing plan is. But marketing is not the only way that they uh, take stands. Um, they also use foundation money to, to, uh, to, to pay for you know, different types of, of advocacy, um, even the way they're structured sometimes um, is a, an indication to what they stand for. Um, you know, we, we recently did a, a study on B corporations. Um, so, you know, it's not just about the, the marketing, it's also about really where they're, um, where they're trying to influence uh, kind of the global scene. Long term, like you say, the company is in fact neutral. Um, you can pick from a variety of different values packs, um, and some of them are liberal and some of them are conservative. Uh, but what we really want to do is be the trusted source for data. We don't take any money from companies. Um, we don't do any advertising. Uh, so we want to be the trusted source for data so that people can make informed decisions. Um, we think that there's really nothing more American than giving people the choice of what they want to do. Uh, and so that's, that's why we make our app uh, neutral. You pick the values uh, and, and you're able to uh, decide what you want to buy. We will continue to add different values packs. We've got seven now, uh, a few in the works. Uh, it's 
turned out to be more complicated than we expected to just add values packs uh, and, and do it consistently so we can be the trusted source of data. But we'll see more values packs come online so you can tailor your, your beliefs a little more. Um, and we'll also see us expand into new product areas. We right now do grocery paper products, alcohol products. Uh, we don't do restaurants yet. We don't do clothing yet. We don't do airlines yet, uh, but we, we expect to do that in the future. We, the way we think about it is we kind of did the hard stuff first, right? There's many more grocery uh, items than there are types of shoes, for instance. And so we try to do the hard things first, and we're going to come back around later to, to other, other product lines.